Hi there everyone, welcome back. Uh, Harvey here of course, just got back uh, last, yeah, last night from Oxford with the cousins, had a really nice weekend. Sent out the Palace Daily yesterday and um, today I'm going to do another Palace Daily for you. So I've been watching obviously the playoff final today, it was um, again in the League 2 playoff final which was against Coventry and Exeter, I've been watching that today. Uh, just finished and just want to say... Um, Massive um, congratulations to Coventry coming up. They're a big team, a sleeping giant, if you like. They des they deserve to be in a higher league, and the fans deserve a lot more than they've been getting over uh, previous seasons. So congratulations to them. But massive condolences to uh, Hiram Boateng, Dean Moxie, Luke Kroll, um, three former Palace players. Hiram Boateng, Luke Kroll, especially they they were former Palace players from just a few years ago. Uh, Dean Moxie obviously was a key part of our 2013 promotion. Um, also played a few times in the Premier League the season after as well. So he's um, he's one that's been a, a key figure in the Palace team in previous seasons. And you know they put they all three of them have played for Exeter. Not Luke Kroll today. He, I think he was injured. But Boateng and Moxie both started, and the team just didn't really perform very well. Unfortunately, couldn't get the job done. They lost three one in the end, and they're going to be in League Two again next season. But you know, best of luck next season, and it was always good. It's always good to see Palace players, young Palace players, if they don't make it for the Palace team to go away, start in a League Two level, League One, League Two, and be big performers for the club. And you know, Boateng scored a really good goal in the semi-final of the playoffs, getting helping us to get to the final. So it was a shame that they couldn't get the job done. But you know, Coventry were deserved winners on the day, um, and that's fair enough. But Basically, this uh, playoff final and the playoffs in general, um, we've seen a lot of former Palace players in the playoffs. I mean, we had Jed Nack as well uh, in the Villa team uh, scoring again. Crucial goal in the semi-final. The goal that got them uh, pro promoted, got them into the final for the championship playoffs. Again, couldn't quite get the job done, but... It got me thinking again, guys. So the, now that the playoffs are done, that is officially like the season over for the Football League and the Premier League. And now it's just the World Cup we've got look, to look forward to until next season starts. Um, and it got me thinking, uh, which which teams have you been have you supported in the past, either in finals or in league games, uh, especially in finals? Uh, that have not been Palace, uh, but you've supported them because there have been former Palace players playing for them that you really liked in the past. So, you know, a good example would be Aston Villa. I wanted them to go through, not just because of Jednak playing for them and obviously being a massive player for Palace, a massive fan favourite, but also because Fulham using clappers at Wembley, I really don't like that. <laughs> um, uh, and then again, today, even though Coventry are the bigger club and it was almost the 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 story would have been Coventry going going up and they obviously ended up doing it. Um, I I still I still wanted Exeter to, Exeter to win because you had two former Palace players starting in the lineup and two Palace players again that the fans really liked. Although Dean Moxie wasn't the best player, uh, he he was in as I said a key left back in uh, key position in le at left back in the promotion squad and played a massive part in our promotion for uh, five seasons ago. So, you know. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Which finals, which league games in the past have you been supporting an opposition team by, b because there have been Palace players, for, or former Palace players, sorry, in their starting lineups? So I'm really interested to know your thoughts because there's already been a couple of games, like I said, over the playoffs where we've seen it. And I'm sure there's plenty that I can't remember at the moment that, um, that you can go back and look on and start writing in the comments and just, you know, get that, get that conversation going. And it'll be really interesting to see your guys' thoughts on that, see hear about other games maybe that I've not heard of that um, that uh, former Palace players have played a big part in. So get commenting down below, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. What I'll do is, um, because now the Football League is finished and the World Cup's obviously coming up, I will be doing some World Cup videos in the coming days, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I'll get get some really good videos coming out for you soon. So be sure to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and get commenting down below.